Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Vert. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the infinite replay casino heist glitch. Every time you do the casino heist, you will not have to do the setups again, and you'll get like 1.4, 1.5 million every single 20 minutes. That's including loading screen and all that other stuff. So let's get right into it. So what you're gonna need is the arcade for the casino heist, and you're gonna want to start your setups. Now for the casino heist, I suggest doing whatever you like and whatever you think you can do the fastest and whatever you're more used to. So what I'm used to is artwork and I like doing the big con because I find it the easiest, but you can do whatever you want. It does not affect the replay glitch at all. So just choose whatever you want. These are all the setups I did. You don't have to do any of these. It won't affect the glitch, but these are the ones I did to make the casino highs go by faster. So uh, yeah, I suggest doing them, but it's your choice. Also a heads up, whoever is the host is not getting any money at all and will be giving all the money to the second person and vice versa. So if you want money, you want to have your friend host it. And if you don't want money and you want to give your friend money, you want to host it. And that's basically how it's going to work. And if I sound weird, it's because I'm sick. I don't even know why I'm sick. But yeah. All right. So to start things off, you're going to want to invite your friend. So I'm going to show the perspective of me being the host. So here we are just starting up the mission. And for the heist board, make sure you have this set up. Well, actually, you could have whatever you want, but this is what I'm going to have. So everything you see, you don't have to do, but I'm going to have. But for what you do want to do is the paycheck. So make sure you're giving the your friend or whoever is not the host, make sure you're giving the money. If you're the host, do not get any of the money or do not get, give yourself the lowest cut because you're not going to keep that money. So here I am giving my friend 85% and I'm the host, so I'm getting 15%. And that's how it's going to work. All right, now we're just going to load up pick our mass and i guess i'll commentate the strategy might as well you know uh there'll be timestamps though if you want to skip out of here and just see the strategy but i'm gonna just commentate how i do it so to start things off just uh drive to the casino it doesn't matter who drives to the casino there's no certain uh way you should be driving also you could do this on hard mode i don't know if it gives you more money i'm not too sure about that but if it does give you more money then do it on hard mode but i can't do it on hard mode because i did like or my last mission i did was the what was it the aggressive so that's so the silent and sneaky is on hard mode i don't know i don't know how it works it's weird you can't put it on hard mode so yeah that's why we have one life but if you can't get it on hard mode if it does give you more money just do that we don't die though in this so yeah just basically start driving to the casino and just keep driving. Uh, also, I'll probably be posting more videos. I don't really commentate this long, but I'm just gonna do it because why not? Because so I can show you guys how I do it. So now I'll just take the van and then drive it into this place. You're probably like, why am I going here? For some reason, it triggers the animation. So. I just do we just do it like that it's faster to be honest in my opinion it's faster all right now it's just gonna get a black screen and so you're gonna start loading so the group the groupie entrance is probably like my favorite because it's easier i haven't tried the other ones but i feel like this one's the best one just go ahead and drive over you could be as loud and as obnoxious as you want to be honest don't take this heist too serious don't like like, look at where they crashing everywhere. Yeah. And then we have like our ritual that we always do. This is what we always do. It's kind of like you have to do it or you're going to fail the heist. So make sure you guys are doing this. All right. If you guys aren't doing this, you're going to fail the heist. Not just playing, but yeah. So after you do that, just go ahead and park here. Now, again, don't take this heist too serious. You could do, you just don't, well, don't fail it, but like just rush. Don't really like sit there and like try to like not alert them because nothing will happen right here so everything we're doing right now we know like we're not going to get caught or we're not going to get in trouble for like jumping like right here hey, well the elevator's not opening up and then he just glitches out. i don't know what's going on but yeah you could just jump run and jump and like slam the doors they don't care they're npcs they don't they don't really know so you could just rush this so just rush everything right here and then for the key card swipe, what I do is I just say, ready, set, go. And then as soon as I say go, I give it like one second because of mic delay. And then I get it. And also the game clip uploaded to network. Just ignore that. I was trying to get some clips for, for the heist earlier. And they were barely uploading for some reason. 
So yeah, just ignore that. So just keep running straight, just like so. And again, if you don't want to watch this commentary, there's a timestamp. So I'm just going to commentate on it for the people who want to do my strategy. Maybe it makes it faster for them. But I find it the fastest way to do the casino heist, in my opinion. So now you're going to go to activate this animation. And then the security guy is going to be like, uh, they didn't tell me you were here and then all that. And he's going to start opening the thing. So just wait for him to open it up. Uh, and also if it's lagging, I had to record on my phone because I don't know why it was letting me record on my Xbox, but yeah. All right, then, and then we punch the guard. And then this is when we start doing the heist. So what I always do is I go to the left and my friend goes to the right and then we do the middle at the same time. So that's sort of like how we do it. But just grab the paintings. You can also do gold if you want, but gold makes me super slow. And I don't like being like slow in this heist. I like doing it as fast as possible. And you probably get like a couple hundred K more. I don't know how much more. But I just suggest doing artwork because it's easier. Just like this. And then look at We have three minutes. Also, buy the best hacker. If you copied my uh, setup, you should be good. But if you buy the best hacker, you'll have more time. Don't worry about the guns. Because you're not really going to be shooting. And then just start hacking. And if you don't know how to hack or any of that, well, then it's like, I don't know what it's like 2023 you should be able to hack all right that's all i need to say uh there's not really much anything else to say uh i don't know if i said this already but i've been posting gta content because honestly i found the game boring all those gta dupe glitches that i did just got boring and made the game too easy if y'all want duplication glitches uh, just let me know and i'll look for some Right now, there's not really any, or there might be some, but I don't know. Just like, I was looking around, try to get a new duplication, which I didn't see any. So I don't, I'm pretty sure there's none out right now. So anything else is a scam, unless, unless I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we're just hacking everything. Look at a minute, 43 seconds. I'm over here hacking this fingerprint and we're chilling, you know, we got a ton of time. We're getting the the artwork. And yeah. And see, you guys could be just getting the artwork. But if you get gold, it's going to be really slow. So. Also, I like doing big con because you get three minutes. And then aggressive, you only get like two minutes and something seconds. And then silent and sneaky. I don't know if you get more. You probably do. You probably don't. I don't know. I don't really do silent and sneaky. But in silent and sneaky, you have to take your time with it. And I like rushing. So that's why the big con is perfect for me. And in aggressive, you have to shoot people, which also slows you down. So the big con is like the best for all that. So see, now we all got we got all the money, but we also got drills. This would just give you a couple of extra crash. I like having this just in case we get shot. It just guarantees that you're going to get money. That one didn't have any. My GTA character got mad about that. But yeah, just look for uh, just look, get extra money bags because when you get shot, you can get extra, um, or you'll have extra money. So you'll be basically exactly where you uh, where you were before. So it's nice to have like a like a safe um, like safe money area just in case you get hit. But now just run out. Make sure you run out before uh, the gas comes out. Otherwise, you will have to you will fail the mission. You have to restart. And then also, I'm sick, so. If I'm sniffling my nose, that's why. Um, again, time this thing right here. As you can see, let, let, I don't know how loud Lester is. I can't hear the audio. But if Lester is loud, I'm sorry. I'll probably put the volume down when he's talking. Because he's a hella annoying. But yeah, just run through this right here. Rush. As you can see, we did not fail. We're coming out with 2.3 million. You could come out with more if you do gold and all that. But like I said... Our work, in my opinion, is the best. You rush through it, you do it fast. And it's all about finishing it fast. Right here, do the same thing, run through. Don't sit there and walk and respect them and then like try not to, no, just run through. That's all you gotta do. And then open this right here. Don't go through the elevator because the elevator will get you caught. There's like a security guard right in the corner. So run upstairs right here. Don't worry about the camera because it won't detect you yet. But once you're up here, now they know that you uh, snatched all the money. So 
just sit right here behind this wall this is what i do just sit on the side of the stairs and wait for the security guard to come and he's gonna peek a little bit and then he's gonna turn around and then that's when you come outside and then you smack him and then i like got stuck on the wall so i had to like go around and then you see where my friend going just go towards there and then he's gonna knock out the guy on the right so there's gonna be a guy walking there but by the time you knock him out he should be peeking out right there and then here's this guy just wait for him to turn around so just be very careful with these hallways and make sure you're watching the mini map to see like the blue circles and then there'll be two bags if you did the noose e exit plan which is really good i suggest doing that the police uniform swat team whatever it's called outfit the noose outfit right there as you can see then just run straight out they do not care they think you're part of the police they're not going to question you so just run straight out and that'll help you out in the long run damn i'm so sick i don't even know why i right, just let it low let it low all right so then all the swat team is going to be pulling up and then they're going to be like what y'all doing what y'all snatching just let it load just wait a little bit so we're leaving through the staff area so just run towards here they just follow exactly where i'm going you will not mess it up every single time it won't be different just smack this guy right here nothing will happen the guard won't care and then run straight to these like bush area over here jump up there just like that copy everything i'm doing you shouldn't fail if you copy exactly everything we're doing in this video you should not fail this heist you'll be good run through here make sure you're watching out for those blue marks and then the driver or whatever his name is the getaway vehicle person did us dirty and went hella far and i'm not walking all the way over there so we had to snatch a bus my friend got run over but you know we snatched the bus because i'm not walking all the way over to that getaway my friend was about to do it but i was like hell no just get in the bus so yeah just steal a car the cars won't run away from you because they think you're police officers so they'll walk near you and they won't be spooked but just snatch a car or whatever or sometimes the getaway vehicle will be right there so go ahead and do that just get a vehicle and then start driving over here hold on all right so just start driving over here it doesn't matter if the police see you uh you don't really need to lose the cops right now so we're, what we're going to is that building right there and that's the building you guys are going to need to go to this will be the fastest strategy so you can get the elite challenge done and do it under 15 minutes and then you're just going to look to the top left right there and wait for the blade and then you'll see the blade right there here i'll, I'll freeze it actually all right so there it is as you can see right there the helicopter blades and then just that quick check will let you know that the helicopter is there if it's not there just like do a lap around the block and i think it'll spawn back in i'm not too sure that works yet i haven't had a uh, experience where I didn't get the helicopter so yeah if you know how to if you if anything just look up a video how to get the helicopter to spawn every time or just do trial and error but yeah now this is important if you are the host do not drive the helicopter so maybe your friends like all oh, drive no make sure your friends driving or I don't even know what I said right there but make sure your friends driving and not you if you're the host do not drive the helicopter so as you can see i'm trying to go in the secondary seat because i'm the host if you're the host do not drive the helicopter sorry if i confuse you but if you're the host do not drive the helicopter now the reason for this is because you're gonna need to turn off your wi-fi like when you're about to do the when you're about to finish the mission and i'm about to show you guys how i do it on console so a lot of people think you can only do it on uh pc because pc you could turn off your wi-fi but you can actually turn off your wi-fi on xbox and i'm pretty sure playstation too i don't got a playstation though so i don't know how to do that so unfortunately i won't be able to show you guys how to turn off your uh internet but i'm pretty sure you could just disconnect your ethernet cable if anything uh but i know a lot of you guys probably don't want to do that so just turn off your your wi-fi manually on xbox you can do it so i'm about to show you guys how so just have your friends start driving over there and sometimes if you when you get the high-end buyer which make sure you guys are getting the high-end buyer because you'll get the most money make sure you guys just like drive start driving over there the helicopter makes it so much faster you don't even have to lose the cops as well so what i used to do 
is i would go in the sewer lose the cops then go for the helicopter but you can actually just go for the helicopter you won't get shot up I, we barely lost any money and we're chilling right now so yeah just start driving over here then i was like sort of waiting so there's like a couple spots that the buyer could be at so right here i'm gonna press open and then go to your settings so just go to your settings on xbox then go to network settings and then hover over go offline now what you're one you're gonna want to do is have your friend tell you when to turn off your wi-fi or go offline so this is my friend and then he's gonna say go right about now and as soon as you see those people he says go and when you hear go that's when you press go offline that's when the host press goes offline and that is the screen that was showing earlier so this is the screen that says go offline just press it as soon as he says go and he should say go when he sees the people and there's about one second mic delay so Here's one last example that should help you out. Do I go? Not yet. Do I go now? No bruh. Okay, tell me when to go. I know. Go offline. And that is how it should look when you're telling them to go offline. So continuing my gameplay, I press go offline and then I load back into GTA. So let me just fast forward here what happens after I go offline so that we guys know that my heist is still there. And there you go, there's the heist. Everything's still there and I can start it up again. So that is how you guys do this casino heist replay glitch if i didn't explain it well enough i'm sorry but i think i did a really good job explaining so let me know down in the comments how i did also if you guys didn't just skip towards the end and you guys didn't see um most of the video i basically explained how i do the casino heist and how fast i do it so if you guys want to do it at a rapid pace i suggest just doing all the setups that i did and doing the big con with the uh groupie entrance and the new self exit it'll make it way faster and it's the best for me so just do whatever you want but i suggest doing that if you guys want to know how to do that just skip uh back in the video and watch the whole video but other than that it's your boy verse see ya